let me get situated here before I do anything. Oh, God, I do not. As is Thanksgiving tradition, I do not feel good. I have eaten way too much and not enough at the same time. God, I feel like I'm going to die. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Phoenix Wright. One thing I want to do, first of all, I'm going to turn the sound effects down because I think they were a little loud last time. So let me do that. Let me do that. God. I feel like a... I feel like a piece of shit. I feel very bad. Not good at all. Not good at all. That's how the... That's how the world goes around. Alright. So we're back. More Phoenix Wright. Uh, we left off in the middle of a fucking investigation yesterday because for some reason not gonna lie as I was playing this I was just slowly getting like a headache I don't know why and now because I ate a bunch of turkey I feel super sleepy it's like it's like someone drugged that shit all right so where do we leave off at was this it? I think this was it. Alright. So we're in the middle of the investigation. Um, we had the... What, what the fuck? It, it wasn't called a trial. It was called like a fucking pre-trial or some bullshit. I don't know. We had that. And what's-her-face over here is a dirty liar. Who has... Who has a fucking bias against prosecutors for some reason. I guess because she got fired from her job as a detective. Um, we also found out that there was another murder that took place the same day. So, so that happened. I am, I am not, I'm not operating at 100% here. Holy shit. I just woke up. I made sure to at least sleep for like an hour before the stream. Because, uh, oh. Thanksgiving's a bitch. Hope everyone's having a happy Thanksgiving. God damn it. All right. So now we're checking the evidence, checking the evidence, checking the crime scenes, going over some new evidence that we found. We also have, uh, we also have this, the spray, which shows us, you know, DNA traces. So we got blood and stuff. I'm trying to look for the fucking Marshall. I don't know where the hell he went. That guy's gone. Now, if memory serves me correctly, I believe I examined everything in here, and I talked to to Angel over here. Ooh, hold up. What's this? A blocks. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are, reg are relegated to B block. I dream of the day when I'll be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburger from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. Well, that's fucked up. She said, you're gonna give up your job? You're gonna be selling burgers? You're gonna be flipping burgers? That's where we found the note. 221 SL9, the SL9 incident. The case that was due for transferral the day of the murder. And the detective in charge of the case was the victim. I wonder what kind of case this SL9 incident thing was. It's kind of hard to guess just knowing the case number. I guess. Let me... Let me whip out the good old blood detector. And just give this another rundown. Make sure... No fresh blood... No fresh blood is, you know, hanging about. Alright. And I think I didn't exam this. This is where the cars leave the lot. The arrow on the ground makes it look more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. 
Well, maybe it's both. Kind of a dual purpose? Aha, uh -huh, the theory of relativity. What? Uh... I gotta write this down. Ah, hey, Mr. Wright, maybe you know. Was Mr. Relativity, uh, Relativity German or was he British? Mr. Relativity? Are you sure that was his name? Yeah, I'm positive about that. I don't think you are. I think I gotta hit the books. Aha, ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Look at this basic nature of the thing, Mr. Wright. This all seems so horribly familiar somehow. Are you sure there's nothing in here? You sure? You sure this ladder should... I find it really weird that this ladder is just the perfect height for this vent. You know? It's kind of weird. It's kind of sus. Sure ain't nothing in there. Maybe you should check it out. Apparently we're hiding in evidence and mufflers and shit. You know what I mean? This is ridiculous. Alright. And you just don't want to talk whatsoever. You just, want, you just don't want to talk. I can't get you to... Phoenix is right. Uh, Phoenix, Phoenix is right. Phoenix is... Phoenix is trying to get her to talk about the DSL-9 incident. Did I even say that right? I, I said it wrong. The SL-9 incident. But I don't think I have evidence that will that will get her to talk about it. Look at this. Can I spray you down? Can I spray you down, miss? Miss Cough Up Queen? Can I do that? Make sure you got no fresh blood on you? Or any other sort of excrements? You know what I mean? Someone with the name of Cough of Queen. I, I still don't I still don't like the fact that she calls herself that. That's pretty freaky. Alright, well, shit. We're going to leave. I'm gonna head back to prosecution office. Maybe there's something new in here that I didn't see before. Mr. Edgeworth has such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl up and take a nap. I won't take a fucking nap right now. I bet he pours uh, I bet he pours over this case file pours? Yeah, I read that right. Why am I why am I blinking here? I bet he pours over the case files here until wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves, and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's actually daydreaming about Edgeworth's working. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and like creases in his cheek from the screen from the seams. He's so cool. Sofa hair's cool? What about my spiky hair? I got some cool ass hair, you know what I mean? I'm cool. I'm pretty sure this is all the same from, like, the first day that I checked over this stuff. I don't think there's anything different here. I think we're just... I think we're just here to, um... To, like, see if Edgeworth will come in. That's what I need to know. Alright. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special to find in here unless, like, Edgeworth is hanging about here to talk to him. But Edgeworth is nowhere to be seen at this moment. Uh. Let me. Let me spray down this area, because apparently a murder fucking happened here. Like, in the building. Maybe there's, like, some sort of traces. Left on, like, a car. I thought there would have been, like, something, because there's a handprint here on the thing. On the mascot. You know? Any, like, traces of blood on the door? You got blood on you, sir? I don't think there's much happening here. The usual want to posters. Alright. I don't think that's anything different from when I checked it the first day, so... Let me move on. Back in here. I examined a lot in here. I assumed Gumshoe would be hanging out here, but... But no one... Hmm. 
What the hell do I do? How do I get back to the fucking, um... Evidence room? I assume that would be through the, uh... Maybe it's a different doorway over here? Here we go, guard station. <coughs> wow! Oh, fuck. Alright. That woke me up. Holy shit. Anything else to examine in here? Hmm. There's a lot of bottles for a workplace. Like, I saw that there's there's blood on the cactus, right? And I think that was the only thing. I think I examined everything else. We need the marshal to get through here. You sure there's no, like, extra blood hanging about? Hanging a boot? Nothing on his poncho. Hmm. Did I check this hat? Yeah, I checked that hat. There's something that I'm missing. Something that I didn't check. Somewhere. So I'm just gonna start checking everything. Hmm. Guess he wasn't saluting. He was showing the detective where his head was. Okay. I highly doubt that there's anything different than what she said on the first day. Like, most of this we've seen already. Crime fighting campaign. Hmm. Let's see. You sure there's nothing on this on this guy that I can check? I mean, he's, there's a fucking handprint smacked across his face. Thought maybe we would want to you know look into that a bit, since a fucking murder happened here like a couple of days ago. Talk. I talked to that guy. Right? Hmm. What the hell? Yeah, I checked everything over here. I believe I checked everything over here, that is. And she's locked up doing whatever it is she's doing, you know? Let me head back to the law office. Maybe there's something we need to talk about or something I can show. Show her. Oops, wrong button. Can I not present anything to her? My bad. I gotta click present. Why would this have been in the car exhaust pipe? It's evidence from an old case, right? Right, the SL9 incident. It was already solved, apparently. This knife was stolen on the day that, uh, on the evidence transfer. Maybe I should look into this SL9 incident. Oh, fuck. Do I have any records on this? Okay, I don't... Let me see. So, I don't have any records on this, but... Edgeworth might. So, let's... Let's head to his... Let's head to his area.
Don't mind if I do, Edgeworth, just stealing some of your files, you little bitch. I definitely remember her talking about this a while back. Can I not grab any of his files? I'm pretty sure he would have something on on the incident. Steal samurai shit. I don't think that's anything important. The tea set from the bellboy. At least I assume it's from the bellboy or some bullshit. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this area a fucking sweep. That's what I'm gonna do. Because find it. Pretty sure there's nothing in here, but one can never be too sure. Oh shit. Hold up. What's this about? How do I get him to react? I think I just hover my cursor over it. There you go. Why is there blood here? What? Looks like some blood has dripped down here. Judging by the amounts, my guess is from a nosebleed. A nosebleed, hmm. Maybe in his wrath? Mr. Edgeward slapped someone for their in <laughs> incompetence. Wow, that's fucked up. Why does Detective Gumshoe's face come to mind? He smacked Gumshoe so hard that he's bleeding on the floor? That's fucked up. Okay. Alright, well... I guess I'm gonna give... Every area, like, a full-ass sweep. Ah, oh, fuck. Like, a full-ass sweep, cause... Oh, my bad. I didn't, I didn't mean to present it to her. Fuck. What am I doing? Put it down. Why did I click present? I mean, I already sprayed over here, but... I feel like there's like another thing that I'm missing over here somehow. Like nothing on the car. Like nothing on the fence. assume that this area is pretty clear. But you know, I found a little bit of blood in Edgeworth's office. Sure there's nothing here? You positive, game? You positive? Are you bullshitting me? Alright, well. I'm gonna... I gave this area a rundown. At least... At least I hope I did. This area, I didn't give a rundown. Don't mind me, sir. Just doing some defense attorney work. Spraying down the whole police office. Don't mind me. Huh. No, this area's clean. This area is clean. There's nothing I can do here, I think. You know? The, uh... Lana's in, like, questioning, I guess. I don't even know why I'm spraying here. I'm, I'm like, through a fucking wall. Just spraying on the glass. Maybe. Maybe. You can never be too sure. Highly doubt this will do anything, but you can never be too sure. 
Wouldn't there be like a bunch of blood over here? Isn't this where fucking Mia died? Fucking give give Phoenix PTSD. Make him scared for like a moment. Remembering all the horrible things. thought right now is just to present as much as I can to to um, Angel here. See what works. <coughs> yeah, fuck. Oh man, I am dying. Gotta get her to talk about the DL, DL9 incident. But nothing's making her talk. What do you think about this? Yeah, she said this already. Do you think you can tell us more about it? Yeah, and I went to talk, like, instantly after, but... But those are checked off, so... I don't think I got her to say this before, so... Well, let's see. She dropped the phone on the pavement. That's when I heard her talk about the muffler. Lower than I know it was a trap. The red car muffler and the prosecutor's red muffler. What was Miss Sky really trying to say, I wonder? Hmm. skipping a bunch of shit now. So he went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fist in an effort to stop the murder. This one I took the photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The whole of my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. Your lying was the problem. Oh yeah, no, she definitely said this before. Yeah, I remember. Knife makes her say the same thing, I believe. Yeah. So both the knife and the paper makes her say the exact same thing. And this does nothing. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I have to show her the phone then. Here we go. That incident really opened up my eye to the truth. We're nothing to them. Dis we're nothing to them. Disposal. Disposable to who? Prosecutors. Two years ago, it was the biggest case I've ever handled. Goodman was a part of it. Okay. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence, so they didn't solve it. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed. Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any clearer than that. The only problem was, they never did find decisive evidence, not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the bias of evidence of sorts, made up evidence. What? You mean they ex executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Oh, so that's how you got fired, then. Some were demoted to pr patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself, one other person, you know well. So the marshal. Well, I mean... Yeah, okay, she's talking about the marshal. But Goodman was there, and it seems like someone else was there, too. Exactly, Detective Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives, we investigated the case from every angle. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. 
You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to the case, a hidden side, and that's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy office can stop us. Wait, those lunches you sell. They're the only reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. They got cameras in them, and mics. I come here to meet my old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriends? How many does she have anyways? Just when all detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we find new evidence. There was to be a connection. Oh, there was. There has to be a connection. So, rookie. What? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. A, a salivary steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with the treat. Is it Gumshoe? Do I gotta wave this in front of Gumshoe's face? Do I gotta make him bark like a dog? Officer Marshall is your, um... Are you his? Are you guys going out? Why do you want to know? I just was wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too, back then. Okay. But now, now he's so cold. He's ice cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Hmm. All right. So I guess we can go talk to him now. This place is char uh this place is charged with frantic energy as always. Huh? What was that? One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe! Now it's no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. Hey, I'm not your guy, I'm not your buddy, I'm not your pal. What I really need is steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now it's no time for despair. We've caught our criminal, now we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean... You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Heard about it? I'm the one who brought it to light, bitch. On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy-turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Is it the Marshal? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch, pronto. Sitting around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. Well, I'm not gonna fill your belly either. In any way, shape, and or form. Wait, don't leave. If you wanna know more, head down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure he's down there having a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Cool. Is it Marshall? It's probably Marshall. Still... Wait, no, it's not Marshall. They, he showed up after the trial yesterday. Who the fuck would it be? It has to be someone we knew already. Still, I do feel better about things a little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. What the hell was that noise? That was my dog. Best to not go too far down the road right now. Things will just get confusing. What was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. My, me a per- wait, what? Is this the- is this the little whiny detective guy? Not detective, my bad. Officer guy? I say I was the perpetrator against- I said I was the perpetrated against, sir. That's what I say. Aw, they beat him up. Uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. 
Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of Chief, sir. I got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, so you're, guard so you're a guard here at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, sir. I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? Ew, Officer Meekins. You didn't. Did you? Uh, perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. Okay, Meekins. Sir, I'm a patrolman with the General Affairs, sir. Uh, sir. Ow, I can hear you fine, Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room. That's right, sir. Uh, b because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall? Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir! A suspicious person! Wow! What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? After that, sir, I... Everything went white. I saw red, I blacked out. And when I came to, I was here, in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Hmm, may I ask what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one at uh, no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Skye. And another similarity between this case and the other one. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. Um, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those puppy dog eyes, sir. If you haven't labeled me a perpetrator or victim, sir, then label me victim. Um, oh my bad, that's Phoenix talking now. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well and out at all at that. Fuck, I, I, I stuttered. <clears throat> oh yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him a stranger or a total stranger, then I say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So you didn't know him? Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature or other what? Cre or other creature comforts? I don't know any detectives. So, if he was a total stranger, why'd you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir, none. Nor do I have any recollection of uh, killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. About your hand, did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I, uh, I cut myself jerking it. Don't ask me how, I just did it. I, uh, I guess I have sharp edges. <laughs> Don't you think you should just confess? But sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened. When the detective pointed the knife at me, I just, I just hollered, sir. Hollered like your mom on a Christmas night, whoa. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared, and nobody loves me. What? And then when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. It was fucked up. I was like, holy shit, I'm bleeding. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's blood... Th blood... The victim's body disappeared? Hmm. That's some story. 
Okay. Do you know anything about... Know anything about this? Officer Meekins, this is for you. Ah, I'm scared of knives, sir! It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look. <laughs> that is, sir! Last night, sir, that's the one! I was an apple, sir, in my dream. Sir, I was... I was being peeled. On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Uh, he overreacted to the knife, but I guess he's being thorough, uh, thorough at least. Alright, well... Can you tell me about this? Officer Meekins, have a look at this. Go ahead, sir! Laugh at me, sir! <laughs> what, what? I know what you want to say. You're gonna tell me how she has just had what? what? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna tell me how she has one just like it. Me? Why would I? I know, sir. I know. I'm the only one without a girl with matching badges. Oh, you don't have a partner? Nowhere. I'm alone. All alone. Is that so wrong? Life isn't all about high school sweethearts and youthful romances, sir. Is he talking about those badges on her coat? Hmm. I like to think there's a difference between my badge and a fashion accessory. Listen, I am the fashion accessory. Alright. So tell me, is this the guy you saw? Um, do you think you can take a look at this? Hey! That's it, sir! That's it! What? That's what? My head was blank until this very moment! But sir, now I remember! I remember, sir! You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That card! That card was the cause of it all! This ID card? Exactly, sir! That's exactly it! Nothing could be more exact, sir! Nothing! I better pray into- I better pry into this a little deeper. Okay. Can you tell me what it is you remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost patrolman, a little lost lamb, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman, who was in the evidence room. And that's why he thought- wait, what? <laughs> My bad. And that's why he thought he looked suspicious? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show him his ID- show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What'd he do? That's the thing. Suddenly he pointed a knife at me. And I was all like, oh shit, what the fuck? Sir, I assure you, I was I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and leapt <laughs> So I whooped and leaped at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. D do unto the others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I woke up, I was here. Right. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim who he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That's what I wanted to say! This is... I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that I had to be, that it had to be him, sir. On that day, at that time, Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Huh? A videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out. It's there, it's me, it's on tape. Yeah, that's, that's some pretty damning evidence. And you waited until now to tell us? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I hand over my badge, I don't deserve it. 
No thanks, I have my own, and it's beautiful. Well, I guess we better go check out the crime scene. Well, thanks a lot. I, I would say for nothing, but you did actually help out in your own weird type of way. My dog is just, like, making a bunch of noises in his sleep. Are you okay back there? You're just losing it. You're losing it, pal. Hey, Zero. 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 Usually he perks up when I call his name, but he's just not moving. He's just, he's just like, he's out of it. I can't wake him up. Hey, Mr. Wright. Look who's standing at the chief of detectives desk. It's Belief Chief Grant. My throat is killing me. <laughs> Are you sure this is all of them? Do you know what this means? If there's anything missing, sir, I'm sure most likely, uh, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, bags, coat pockets, and under his seat cushion behind the computer monitor inside his personal coffee machine. I see. Well, if anything does turn up, you call me right away, deal? Yes, sir. You'll score, uh, we'll scour the, pl uh, the place again, sir. Ow. My back. It, like, itches. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. <laughs> right on, my boy. How have you been? Swim much? Ho-ho! Chief Grant! Reporting for duty, sir. Are you saluting him, right? How's it going? Um, is Ashworth going to be okay? Oh, were they? Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with them. Sounds like an inqu- inqu- ah, fuck. Inquisition? Yep, well, they, I don't even think that was that word. I think I fucked up that word. Yep, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boys since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having a top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you? You got someone else found guilty in that case, right? Right up. Yeah, Von Karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40 years career. And for some reason, people are still calling me a rookie. But in court, you fixed it so he was caught for forging, for forging evidence. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong. He did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is a bit of a, tur a turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputation. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee d decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? It's downright odd, I tell you. The detective getting killed on their turf too, I mean. They're being the prosecutors, I assume? Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time. That's what it says. What evidence is this? Now, now, Rido, I can't give away all our secrets just like that. And this is particular. In it, what? What? And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive. I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much, anyways. You know, one thing I hate most of all is hiding stuff. Secrets can't stand them. But you know. It's a full-time job just keeping the chief of the detectives trap shut. Ah, he was the one you were picking on earlier. Huh? You saw that? Whoops. I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can kind if we can uh, let's see if we can kind of discreetly ask him. Sure. If we just show him enough evidence. Okay. Maybe if I show him the knife. I was wondering, could you take a look at this? Ah, sorry, Rido. I'm through with that stuff already, I say. Go find that guy who can't seem to sit still out there. The busy one. The guy who can't sit still? Does he mean Detective Gumshoe? Either him or the dancing blue badger. Hmm. Nothing you can tell me at all. Hmm. Oh well. I don't think he'll crack over anything. Eh. 
attacks him discreetly. Nope. Alright, I might get some new evidence and come back to him. Let's move to the, uh, entrance. I want to head to the guard station. Nope, nothing here. I guess I'll head back. Huh, guess I'll head back here then. Guess I do gotta show more stuff. He's telling me to find Gumshoe, but I don't... Where the hell can I possibly find Gumshoe? You know what? Gumshoe went to go get some lunch, actually. So he might be in the parking lot. You, you around here, Gumshoe? No? Alright, just making sure. God damn. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Alright, well... Telling me to go look for gumshoes, so I don't fucking. Hmm. Maybe gumshoes hanging out at a uh, Adam Edgeworth's place. Nope. All right. Well, I'll just. I'll just show him everything. Maybe he'll say something then, all right? Oh, sir. I was wondering, could you take a look at this? Oh, wow, I don't, I don't think he'll, he'll react to anything, actually. Yeah, I think he's just gonna tell me to look for Gumshoe, but... Just, you know, double checking, triple checking. Where the hell would Gumshoe be at? Oh, sorry you had to see that. Um, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there? It's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonged to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. Lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on this is February 21st. Okay. And you guys... You got... 221. Hmm. Alright. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Okay. So you thought this wasn't important of, of anything. He lost something on the day of the murder, which is also written on this. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I keep pressing examine for some reason. Can we not check the security cameras? I mean... It says recording. Huh. Well, I guess maybe I'm supposed to show it to, uh, 
to the chief first. Oh, here we go. Permission to enter. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm? Well, I, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for, for help. <coughs> God damn it. I was wondering if I could investigate the evidence room. The answer is yes. Now, Rido. Oh, shit. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. Rido, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asks me, sir, can I borrow $50? I'll give them $50, no problem. What about 100 Can I have $100? So go ahead, investigate the room to your heart content. Knock yourself out. Just goes to show you, you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Hey, this is Detective ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir, it's an honor. You just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. You're gonna pin you're gonna use this as evidence against me or some bullshit, aren't you? You're gonna you're gonna make me look like I did the murder or some bullshit. Looks pretty cool on my on my lapel, doesn't it? I had to scratch my nose. Oh my god. Just think, a real ID. You seem happy. Yes, sir. Because sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is bad influence on this girl. Well, let's head there. Let's not dawdle any longer. Oh, can I not? I guess I gotta examine it. There we go. The evidence room is beyond that door. And we have the ID card from Chief Grant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Ah, oh, the card reader is turned off, I see. What is this security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well. What made my my bam my bambinos? My bambina sky go gray. Officer Marshall. Why does it have to be him? What's that? Why does it have to be him look for? As you may have summer uh, summarized, this this has my uh, the fuck fu can't speak. This here's my saloon. We're here to investigate the crime scene. Yeehaw! That card you got there on your chest? That better that's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yeehaw. Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's waiting. Keep. Looks like the card reader's on again. While we're here, I was wondering you could if I can ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with you. I got no mind to tangle with you, hombres. You're busy then. Did I say that? I only said I don't wish to speak with you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with those hombres. Oh uh, yeah? You sure about that? You sure you sure you don't want a talky talk? Just a little little talky talk? Maybe this will get you talking. The sheriff's back in the wild rest didn't place much faith in evidence. About the only thing they trust was their shooting hand. Um this is neither wild nor west here. Aha. But that's and this but that and this are two different things entirely. I guess so. Uh, I'm lost. Looks like we need some evidence. Damn it. Here you go. You want a talky talk? That smell. Uh, reminds me of Texas. So, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. It's like, from a. Uh, this is. Oh, uh, fuck. I can't. Ah! Uh, my sinuses are bothering me. God. Is, uh, is this for my baby? Oh, uh, yeah, it's my star. What's this? What? What's wrong? A fillet steak lunch. I see, I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina, you win. Ask, <laughs> ask me anything. Finally, it seems. <laughs> okay. He's willing to talk. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security for the evidence room, right? You got a good eye, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. 
Actually, Officer Meekins at the detention center told us. Oh, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I kept getting his name wrong, calling him Me Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective two years ago, well, it might not look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know? So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was gulping down the highway on the... Wait, what? Oh, gulping. Galloping down, <laughs> galloping down the highway of, on the back of my trust on my steed, Zippy. Nope, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here, anyhow. These new, these new, uh, flank, new, new flanged, new fang, new fangled. Let me, let me take a moment. Just have a drink of my water and collect my thoughts. God damn it. All right. <clears throat> these new fangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't talk- I don't take to machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli that's sneaking in next to your steak. You know? I like that broccoli. Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. I mean, he just said that too. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. And that's all gone now, like a drinking hole in a, in a prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? That was my case. It's all solved by the record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. I saw there it is to it. What kind of case was it anyways? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what actually happened. There's some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyways, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. Two days ago? The day of our case. That's right. The evidence transferals. <coughs> Ezra was talking about the transferals too. Okay. I know what, what maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines? Well... I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with my steaks. Cauliflower is great, fuck you. The easiest one to understand are, are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman are on. Are, da, 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 da. are they on one of those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard, and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. Thus, the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Okay, so I see Goodman's ID, and I see two other IDs that went in. One ID went in. Okay, hold up. Meekins went in earlier? I'm assuming the other ID at 514 is Meekins. And who the fuck is all the sevens? Alright. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Mr. Wright, I saw a number on the record just now. I've seen the numbers before. Maybe there's some way I can prove the records is tied to the stabbing. Okay. Sorry, but could you explain what the whole transfer old thing's about? We kept only evidence from solved cases in this room. They kept here under the... Under the pre... Ugh, fuck. My sinuses are fucking up for some reason. Under the... Uh, presiding detective... Uh, preside... Uh, Presiding detective supervision for two years. So, we can reinvestigate them if it turns out there was a mistake, you see? So what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault of the country sheriff's department. 
country county my bad county that's what we call transferal we do it every february i see now transferal is like a funeral for old cases two years after a case is solved it's closed forever dead never to be reopened again never to be reinvestigated and this happened to sl9 two days ago all right Check this. ID five. Okay. So wait. So he lost his ID. Wait. What the fuck did he lose? He didn't put what the item lost. He just. You know what? He probably lost his ID card because he couldn't even fucking remember his number. Okay. I'll show you this. See this? This is the victim's ID card. Huh, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this, 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us the ID card record again. See? Look, the fourth number is a perfect match. It was used at 514, right before the stabbing. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Gum- uh, Gumshoe, wow. Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card, what'd he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. I was like, oh shit. If he had his ID card then, why would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekin's? All right, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Thank you. I got an idea. Maybe I should maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Damn right. So I can know what the fuck your ID number is. Sheriff's back in the wild rusted. Okay, well, guess guess that has nothing to do then. All right, well, let's head to the evidence room. February 23rd, Evidence Room, Sector 3. It's quite the investigation. It's quiet. The investigation must be over here. So, this is the Evidence Room. It really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees. This feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright. You can't scare me. What the fuck are you doing in here? Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So it's true what I heard? Righto, please do look at the so uh, uh, what? What? Righto, please, do I look like a selfish man? Heck, if anyone asks me to borrow $50, I'd give it to him. So go ahead and investigate the room to your heart's desire. Knock yourself out. Yeah, it's true. So Chief of Police Grant. We'll loan anyone 50 bucks, even me? Oh, so that's what you're talking about. Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day? But guess what? You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. What? I'm sorry, wait. You got permission from the chief, so now you're boss for a day. I'm boss for a day? Gee, thanks. First of all, you want to have this? Okay, four plans with evidence room. I'll take that. Thank you. Gumshoe, do me a favor and show me your badge number. Could you take a look at this? This ID card record of people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. I heard the rumors. So it was good men who came in here at the time of the murder. What is it? The, the, the second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth? What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. Wait, wait, hold up. What? Okay. Well, Edgeworth had come to this evidence room. Tell me about that. First of all, tell me about Boss for a day. 
So Detective the Gumshoe, your boss for the day? That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're boss, why are you all alone? Where's your underlings? They're using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I admit, uh, I, I, fuck. Uh, I'm adamant, though. I'm gonna take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here too, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course. I'm a detective, after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open. Only you can open. <coughs> oh, fuck. Alright, tell me about Edgeworth. I always believe in Mr. Edgeworth no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. I see. I guess this is what is called fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. It was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card. Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on, the, on my own... I'm on my third since entering the force already. That sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. Right hand? Oh, you mean a fingerprint. Exactly, pal. The locks for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest models. They are tricked to handle these. The handles. Oh, uh, on the other side of the handles is a sensor. And if the wrong person touches it, let me guess, zap. Zap, you get shocked. If that's what happens, my hand would be black and smoky every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. Those oblivious. Obvious? Oblivious? What the fuck they said. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. Okay. So tell me about this SL9 incident. How do I, how do I get him to talk about it? How do I get him to talk about Edgeworth's, uh, thing? Is it the knife? Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife. What was drive prosecutors got to do such a thing? Wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. So he must have. Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth? Can you tell me about SL9? Detective Goodman's note. Switchblade. But Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone because of the SL9 connection. That's what, uh, that was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would the evidence from the case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on the case? Huh. Can you tell me about them? Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing? A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built a case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago. That put Mr. Edwards right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about Forge evidence? It was supposed to be a cleanup with the transferal the other day. It was, it was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident, you see? So... That switchblade knife? The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Okay. Oh, well, let's check around here, then. So, he let me- so he let me in here fucking Grant let me in here. I knew there had to be some sort of catch to it. He let me in here because I can't 
get to any evidence in here. Unless I get another officer to tell me. Well, what about this right here? That That's pretty sketch. What's this? Blood. It's a little worn, but there's definitely a handprint here. Looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright? What if there's other blood stains in the room? That's what I was thinking. We should use the testing fluid to check it out. Alright. So this is the crime scene. Wow, something must have broke uh someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Is that the gum shoe perhaps? There you go. Pal making me out to be some kind of hooligan. And apparently from the case. The case. The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on the ground? The piece is there. Another piece of SL9 evidence. Hmm. Take a closer look. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try putting it back together? Ha! <laughs> good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why, well, I spent a good three hours on that before I had to give up. That's why I always carry around a tube of glue, a tub of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Now look at this. Okay. What would go here? Well, this maybe? Wait, rotate. Oh, okay. All right, well, then it's this piece. There you go. It would be this piece. It would be this one. No, it's not that one. It's this one. Nope. It's not that piece. Oh, it's this piece. I'm sorry, I, did, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to rotate it. No, 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 it's not that. It would be this piece. Okay. Then this one. That doesn't look right. Yeah. Here we go. It's like curved. I don't think it would be that piece, but... Huh. Looks weird. Maybe it is this piece. That didn't look like that was supposed to fit there, but whatever. There's a piece missing. Hmm. Okay. Huh? Well, I think we did it. But some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too. In two, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem's finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing. I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it does look like the most uh, stable kind of jar. <laughs> Sorry, I fucking I, I blinked for a moment. I I, I lost my thinking process. <laughs> I kind of understand how it got broken. Okay. Yeah. If you ask me, it looks like there's blood on the damn thing. Hmm. But you put these pieces together, it makes a jar. Wow, that was a long yawn. There are two things that bother me. One, why are some of the pieces missing? Two, does it seem a little unstable? No wonder it broke. I make sure to remember that next time I make a jar. The hell is this? Someone left a glove here, but only one. Is that the gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evident from the case, you know. 
Mina Soul 9. It does have a tag on it. Okay. This is opened. Looks like... Oh. Uh, wow. Looks like this one's open, and the red indicator light above the door is lit. The locker's coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if, if, if we closed it. It's empty. We must have taken the contents elsewhere. Huh. The hell is all this paint doing here? What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. True art. I notice that there's blue and yellow paint here. Oh! <laughs> Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of Blue Badger. Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? Wouldn't that... Uh, that seems dangerous to the evidence. I mean, it's all in lockers, but still. Alright, well... Damn. I do want to know what the hell's in here, though. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put this here. There you go, pal. Make me out be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet the evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard's checking on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I been... How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Ghostie leaves evidence hanging around a lot. I bet he doesn't tuck his shirt in under that trench coat either. If you're gonna talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them. Well, that's sad. <laughs> that's sad. Gumshoe, which one is your locker? Is there anything of importance in there? Well, I mean importance to this case. Wow, that made me sound like a fucking asshole. I meant anything important to this case. <laughs> not not anything important. I'm sorry, Gumshoe. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Alright. Well, that's real blood. There's a bunch of blood over here. I mean, if the vase with the blood splatter on it is of any indication. <laughs> that must be one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, Detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood? Maybe Detective Goodman? Was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of the locker. I'll make note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have axed. What else we got here? I mean, we got this, so let's look at that. I knew it. This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker. It's mine. It's yours? Please. You have to help me when they come to, when they come to take me away. I promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jolt it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detective! <laughs> Believe me, I, a police, you can't trust them. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> hey, hey, don't say that. Secret services will come after you. Oh. Okay. That's interesting. Why am I getting a reaction here? There's no reason for the murderer to t for the murderer to touch the spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey, well, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What this? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where where'd you get your hands on that? Uh, I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow fifty bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I better jolt this down for on the floor plans. Hey, pal, look at the time. Was there any? Uh, was there something you needed to? Be, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm gonna go give them my report for the day. It might help, you know? What? Your report for the day is a, a what? Is a restaurant menu? A report? You mean a note written on the back of the flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you got good friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Yeah, I would like to see that myself. Also, explain to me why there's blood splatter in his office. Let me actually save my game. A lot, a lot has been going on. Oh, wow, that's a... Where the hell am I at? Here? Alright. What the hell are you doing here? Mm, guess. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Uh... Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. Is Edgeworth here? There, standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Oh. Looks like you had some problems. Right. He asked the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing has really taken a toll on him. So, Edgy. Edgy the Hedgy. Eh, what's going on, buddy? Remember that time I shaved your ass? I'm gonna hold that over your head for the rest of your fucking life, pal. Anyways. So, how'd the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence. But as, a com but as a communication error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there's someone who, who, there's some who believe that I concealed evidence. They give me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still... I'm still the presiding pr prosecuting attorney, however, something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes. Any further investigation for this case will be directed by the Chief of Police Grant. I can do nothing but wait for his results. Sorry, I was... <laughs> I was staring off into the distance. Like, for real. No lies. I see. Why? I ask you why. All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still. Wow. I never see him this out of sorts. Eh. So, uh... Edgeworth, you wanna... You wanna answer a question for me, pal? Alright. I better check this now. As I was saying, I... Huh? What's this? A record of ID card usage. Edgeworth, you went into the evidence from that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why? Mr. Edgeworth, please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go. By Chief... I keep saying Grant. There's no R in his name. By Chief Gant. Gant. Chief Gant. That's, that's weird to say. Gant. Ugh. I'm gonna keep calling him Grant. Chief Grant, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. 
He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. Okay. AI-16. But it was solved, right? It would have been... <coughs> Fuck. It was solved, right? It would have been in the evidence uh, if it was already filed. The chief has never once explained himself. And in case one day of this, uh, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. You sure about that? That's kind of shady as hell. Now I'm curious about this other case. I better make a note of it. It's shady as fuck. Stubborn as always. I'll tell you this has nothing to do with the current case. Alright, if I need to do the KK, yeah. What a jackass. Alright. Can you tell me about SL9? Can you tell me about this, man? I know you. You probably have told some information. Uh, bat, 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 bat. <coughs> I lost my, lost my speaking there for a moment. I know you. You probably got a hold of some information already, right? It all has to do with that case you were on, the SL9 incident. And some dark suspicions you were wrapped up in. You are the man who retrieved the worst memory of my life. Retrieved? My bad. Revived. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. He must be talking about his father's murder in the elevator. Okay, Edgeworth. Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Yeah, tell me. Tell me, Edgeworth. Tell me what you got. The SL9 incident was a, was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time. Diamond Gant. Diamond Gant. What, what is that supposed to be a play on words for? Diamond Gant. Diamond Gant. Hmm. It's supposed to be like... Can't be giant ant or anything like that. Okay, that wacky old coup was involved in the case two years ago then? He was the top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? You should. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? Have you not seen this man freak out in the fucking courtroom? What I want to know is why why was the deputy uh, why was deputy chief of police on the investigation? In truth, I used slight I, I use wow I use slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with the vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict, and the killer was executed. What? You didn't? Of course not. I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I'll do anything in my power to win a trial. However. I do have a code, and I follow it faithfully. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? Oh, hey, how's it going, Dark Kingling? <laughs> Hope you're having a good Thanksgiving. If you're still studying forensic science... Huh? Yes, of course. Why, well, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminal testing fluids, hmm. Well then, we might have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. Good, how am I? I'm fucking... I'm... I'm honestly tired. I, I did nothing but cook all day since, like... Since, um... Since, like, 9 o'clock. That's when I started. I didn't finish until around 6. And then I ate food, and I, f and I feel bad now. <laughs> it's been completely treated for better... For, uh, fuck. Adhesion? That's how you say that word? Adhesion? For me? Are you serious? Why are the enemy? We are the enemies, you know? Have no say in today's investigations? Do as you will. Edgeworth. I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. Okay. Thanks. How the fuck did you get fingerprint fi You know what? I'm not even gonna ask. But, that will come in handy. Well, let's get going. One last investigation. Right. I do seem to remember seeing a suspicious handprint somewhere. Alright. Move to the evidence locker. Hmm. 
Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here's blood on Detective's events evidence locker. Let's use the secret weapon we just borrowed. Right, let's get started. First, choose a finger. A finger? Each finger is leave behind slightly different imprints. So let's choose a finger that will leave behind the clearest print. Probably the index finger. Or the thumb. Thumb is the clearest. I mean, it has no smudges on it. Alright. Quit press uh, baby back. Can't speak. Quit procrastinating and choose a finger. I'm choosing the thumb, baby. Okay. Now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. I'm starting to give that spark starting to get that sparkle in her eye. First, we sprinkle in the aluminum powder around. Huh? How'd you do that? With the X button, you see? Like that. You go pow! And it's there. It looks like looks like it did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder is well spread, just blow away the excess. Huh? How do I do that? With your fucking mouth, right? The hell? Imagine you're blowing out the candles on birthday cake. See? Wow. I see nothing. Might take some getting used to, though. It's fine. It won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. There's the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess. I'm gonna give it a try. You go. What out? Then go foof. Guess I guess I oh. Just put it everywhere. Just just, just get it get it in there. Get it in there nice and good. Then you blow it. Hey, you did it, you found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm. As you mentioned it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? It means they were wearing gloves or some shit, probably. I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck. The person who left this handprint have yep, they worn gloves. Alright, cool. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time. No, that's important. That's important. Hey, calm down. It's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. Well, uh, while we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Look at the locker door closely. Oh, you mean that fucking little dirty smudge in the corner there? It seems like there's fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Outside the blood. Oh, thanks for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Just, just dab it on there. Like, this is what I've been doing all day. For like, when I was cooking. Just a bunch of seasoning. Just dab it everywhere. Get it in there. Oh, look at that. Ain't that beautiful. Look at that. Just thought it'd make my day better. It does. It makes it all worth it. Do I need more? Probably this corner over here. How much fucking dust do I need for fingerprint? It's pretty much all there. Just, just get it there. Just get it on there, nice and nice and covered. Yay! Print so clear, it's dazzling. Dazzling. Anyways, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there's no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to do that? I can make a pretty good a guess. The bloody print... God. <coughs> The bloody handprint and the fingerprints in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints we'll most likely find on this evidence locker? Is, is, is it Gumshoe? It's probably Gumshoe. It, it, it is his locker. It is Gumshoe's handprints. Of course it is. You know, they're, they're putting a lot of fucking... A lot of new things to do in this case, but it's the last case of the game. So these prints belong to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. 
I guess that's probably because I think I'm thinking so what? Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit something you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Yeah, you know, the most suspicious one, all the way, like, hidden. You gotta spray it, get it to show up. Over here. I got a lot of fucking evidence. This is the most evidence I have in this area. Come on. Come on, let me... Let me add it. Let me add it. Can I just not straight examine it? Will it just... Will it just work if I just go straight to this? No, I think I have to examine it. I think I have to examine it. It's so finicky to get... To get him to look straight at it. Let me see. Do I just do it like this? Maybe I just do it like this. Right? There's a handprint here. Okay. I'm gonna try using this. There we go. Check for prints. Okay, let's check for prints. That's the spirit. Oh, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only end up finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh, right. So that means no prints. Would you say the uh, <clears throat> would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyways, let's try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Okay. Any prints that weren't wiped away? The hell is she on about? So this wouldn't, this wouldn't do anything, because we had to use chemical means to get it, right? So what about, what about the cloth? Okay, let me see, what the hell is she's on about? Check for prints, okay. Find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left behind the bloody hand. Okay. Let's get that on there. You know, season it well. Make it nice. You know. Dress it all nice. Get all get all those accessories and that and that beautiful color in there. There you go. Probably a little bit more here. Fix it up up here. Get it on the sides. Down here a little bit. All right. Let me guess. Does this belong to Goodman? Oh no, it belongs to Jake. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, why does, why does the marshal have bloody handprints? Who are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Yeah. So, wait, hold up. You know what, actually, I was about to say something stupid. Never mind, forget it. I was gonna say, if we can figure out the handprints this fast, how come we couldn't find out the DNA of the blood sample? But that's two different things, so, whatever. They needed time for that DNA to come back. They just assumed it belonged to Lana. That's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma. Emma I, I mean, coincidence or not, apparently there's a, you know, a wiped away giant bloody handprint on a locker. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It's kind of sus. I don't care how many times he's going to tell me he was in electrical. Right? It's sus as fuck. This is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. 
Hmm. Luminal reaction. Blood and fingerprints are in are in the same place. Oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints. On a on a wiped blood stain. That don't look too good, man. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you call decisive evidence. I don't believe it. Well, fucking read it and weep, damn it. I don't care how much you have a crush on the fucking cowboy. It guy's sus as hell. Day two, investigation. Done. Now time to head back to the trial. Let's not get fucked over this time. <clears throat> February 24th, 9.41 a.m. District Court, Defendant's Lobby Number 2. So, what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. And a different suspect was arrested at each of the crime scenes. Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. Man, how long did they have your ass in questioning? I couldn't even find you. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you for too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. They hold you for a whole day for quite That's extreme. Did they, did they give you something to eat? So, how'd it go? It's as Mr. Wright suspected. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. Can you, can you, excuse me. Lana, can you not, can you not fuck up my, my job here by sitting there yelling, I'm guilty? God damn it, you're, you're just making it hard. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? We agreed that if I told him the truth beside, uh, behind the stimulus murder, Stimulus, my bad. Simultaneous. <laughs> they wouldn't see capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana, don't tell me you. Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Sky. hmm? We found trace evidence of a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. What kind of trace evidence? Blood-stained fingerprints, to be exact. Last trump card I've been up, I've been having up my sleeve. You don't understand what this means, do you? In order to defend my sister, we're gonna have to accuse Mr. Marshall. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we have to play the cards we're dealt with. Isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do you wish to uh, do what you have to, Mr. Wright? I will if you just stop telling everybody you're guilty. And maybe, maybe I can get something done here. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Skye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. As is the prosecution. Hmm. Hmm? I'm afraid you have to clarify. Yeah, what the fuck was that about, Asworth? You, you good over there? It takes 30 minutes by car to reach the police department from the prosecutor's office. Yet the victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain. Slain. <laughs> that is a choice of words. He was slain. They just pieced him up. He was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow. That is one messed up trial. <laughs> All my duties as prosecutor is protect. Uh, fuck. <laughs> it is to present impartial evidence. Today I will present evidence relating to the murder of the police department. And so, in doing so, I believe the way. Oh, wow. I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what Mr. Edgeworth's. Wait, what? <laughs> now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things, even though he doesn't know what's going on himself. And that's supposed to be an admirable trait? Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness to the stand. For my first witness, the prosecution calls Pikachu, I choose you. 
The suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Oh no, he committed murder. Oh boy. Things are getting wild from the get-go. Alright, well if he's calling Meekins to the stand, I gotta take a fucking sip of water. This is gonna do a number, number on my throat. <clears throat> Well, the witness, will the witness please state his name and occupation? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Mike Meekin, sir. My occupation is, um, that would be murderer, sir. Well, this, uh, this, wow, this, um, huh, wow, well, you just, uh, you just, hmm. Now off to a good start, are we? Um, so you're telling us you're a professional killer. Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You gotta believe me, sir. How the fuck do you have a microphone? Actually, <laughs> sir, I'm what you would call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose action adult. Wait, what? A person whose action adults can possibly comprehend. Wait, what? A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Wow. Please, Mr. Edgeworth, sir, please help me. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. Consider that in order. Yes, sir, as you wish. After all, I am part of the generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for lack of enthusiasm. All right. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence. Uh, I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. It was all heroic, like and it was like da 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 da, and I was like, I was like, I'm here. Who are you, suspicious man? I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked, and then I whipped out my kung fu moves. I was like, hey, yeah, I fought for my life. Then I did it. After that, I passed out. Until another officer smacked me awake. Hmm. So the victim detective Goodman attacked you. Do unto others before they do unto you. That's the Meekins family motto, sir. I see. Then you faded. And a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside in the head, sir. Wapow! Very well. The defense may begin to cross-examine. What I need here is more info to work with. What I need here is for you to state that you blacked out. Like, clearly stated. Okay. I was assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Wait a minute. You were assigned to guard the evidence room that day. Then how the fuck did the guy walk past you to the evidence room? Whatever. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits, sir. Really, you're in charge? Yikes, now there's a scary thought. Exactly. Evidence transferal was taking place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers were given special tags not, ordinary, not ordinarily performed. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely police mascot created by the Chief of Detectives, sir. That's creepy as fuck. It was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day, sir. I see. Sounds like a very uh, important mission. After the reward ceremony finished that day, there were so many people running around that I that I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Oh, well that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? Okay. I was only doing what I saw. Can you tell me who the suspicious man was? In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? P 
Precisely, sir. I have one right here around my neck. So then, your ID number should be listed on here, right? There it is! I found it! This is the one right here! Could you... could you possibly read us the number? Yes, sir! It's 4989596! That's my number, sir! I see, huh. But the number 4989596... is shown... is shown as being used twice. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know. Suspicious that someone went in like 10 minutes beforehand. And then, I, well, well, he did say he was going to put the blue badger in there, so. Please explain, witness. It's, it's not a real mystery, sir. The first time was when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to get him after everything settled down. I see. So it was during the second time when... Yes, sir! That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Okay. I was only doing what I was trained to do, sir. And I was attacked. Like a vicious animal, he attacked me. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife! You attacked the good man pulled a knife on you? What happened then? Well, with me, ch with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You weren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. And that's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. Well, then, that's how I got this gash on my hand. Maybe you just kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I went, oh shit, that's not good. I grabbed the man by his collar, and I told him to holler. <laughs> what is with me tonight? I'm just being stupid. Alright. <laughs> I fought for my life. That I did. What exactly do you mean when you say, did it? I know I don't look like the type, but I'm really into kung fu- Wow, I was joking about the kung fu moves. Holy shit. Alright. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched his knife from him. I went, here. I smacked him with the karate chopping action. You told- <laughs> You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. I see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of my blood. And then- And then the next thing I knew- Yes. He punched me right in my fucking face! After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. <laughs> Wait, so an officer sees you covered in blood and <laughs> wake you up, he smacks- Okay, you know what? Actually, that's pretty normal. About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how was I supposed to know that? I was unconscious as shit. Alright. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit, he hit me right in the head too. I woke up crying, tears of pain. That's nice. I mean, it's nice that you recovered, that is. When I came around though, I made sure to finish my mission, sir. Your mission? Yes, sir. The blue badger, sir. I turned him to the entrance before, before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easy now. And I believe we now have a fairly accurate, uh, accurate picture of what happened. Yes, your honor. Only one thing remains unclear. Was the man the officer you... Uh, was the man this officer... I can't speak. Was the man this officer murdered really the victim? He's got a point. Hmm. Yes, Officer Meekins. With regards to that, sir... Take a look at this. It was sent to my jail cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me just this morning. The chief delivered it. What's that? A videotape? Yes, sir. 
That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. What? But I specifically asked if there was such a tape. And was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. <laughs> Looks like communication with the police de department is, uh, is as good as ever. Well then, let's have a look. Show us the video of, of you murdering the victim. Oh, please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. A video of a real murder? Whoa, a video of a real murder? Holy shit, dude. This is metal as fuck. Just what are we getting ourselves into? God, that's creepy. Hey, it doesn't have a handprint on it. Yet. God, this can be... I wish, I wish I didn't see this fucking mascot. It is the scariest thing here. <laughs> It's, it's soulless dead eyes. Oh God. Huh. <laughs> you okay over there, Edgeworth? You, you, uh, you right, buddy? Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings staring within us? What the hell was that? A <laughs> real piece of plywood. Sir, that is the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department, sir. It's the Blue Badger. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? This thing is creepy as fuck. <laughs> Even Edward's like, what is that sh what is that soulless creature? Ah uh, yes, well, the tape seems to prove that the witness didn't encounter uh, someone. My dog is making a bunch of noise in the background as he as he as he uh you know makes a nice comfortable space for him to lay on. Are you okay over there? You alright? You're just digging and digging and running in circles? I put that thing in jail? Yeah, de definitely. That thing's creepy as fuck. My dog is fucking... Zero. Calm down, buddy. He's just doing a, doing a bunch of work. Alright, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter someone. In the evidence room, and some sort of activity did take place. Your Honor, instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness testimony will, su will suffice. Is that alright with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. Alright. Now, as always, whenever we get to a new fucking statement, gotta save over some shit. Because there's no way to recover your health in this game. It's just either do it or fail and do it all over again. His face can't, uh, his face can't be clearly seen in the video. But there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened the locker, which requires Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do so. The locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's, sir's, uh, Goodman's, sir's, Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. It's impossible. What's this about a fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each, uh, these lock, uh, 
These locks ensure that each locker can only be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would ha would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin his cross-examination. I don't know where this cross-examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. Uh, that's where we have to start. All right. Okay. Face is clearly seen in the video. Well, it isn't clearly seen. I don't think I can press that for anything. But there's no question that the other person's detective. I mean, he opened the locker, which requires Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do so. Must be him. No one's good one locked it. Alright. Well, let's start by pressing these. How about these lockers? Is there no other way to open them? No, sir! I myself tried all kinds of methods in the past. I even brought C4 in that shit, and it wouldn't blow up. I was like, God damn, that's sturdy as fuck. The only, uh, they only respond to registered fingerprints, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Registered fingerprints and not just one fingerprint? Is there, like, someone who can overwrite that, possibly? I wonder what kind of methods he tried. If the man opened the locker's lock, which only responds to the registered fingerprints, then he must be the person that locker was assigned to or his superior exactly my point sir and this too you sure it was his locker how do you know that information i've heard rumors sir from people in the know sir people in the know the workers in the department cafeteria sir they keep me informed they also listen to my romantic troubles sir like, let me tell you about how I was with this bad bitch named Cinnamon last night. Well, okay, calm down, Meekins. Alright, come, come on. For the record, the open locker did indeed belong to Detective Goodman. I verified this information uh, through, through, uh, uh, fuck, through a more reliable source. Why did I... Why did I stutter on that word? So the victim opened the locker with his own fingerprint. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. You sure? You sure higher-ups can't unlock that locker. However, the most important detail is not shown in this video. The man's face. Sir! If I may say something, sir. Please do. After all, you're the one who who's being examined. What I want to say, sir, was go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. Uh, maybe because there's two motherfuckers who's the exact same person in two locations at the exact same time is kind of shady. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that turned to thrust his knife into my body, sir. My unsettled, sti my unsettled state can be testified enough to, th to this, sir. Yes, you do have a point. The footage doesn't lie. Neither does these hips. <laughs> that is... Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Mr. Wright, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security video? Uh, yeah. That fucking badger is creepy as shit. Regarding the video content on this tape, there is one thing that's particular uh, that particularly seems rather strange. Strange? I mean, the one thing that points, uh, points out, the one thing that seems strange to me is the fact that we can see... We can see Goodman entering the locker, uh, the evidence room, but we can't see him walking out. That's weird. Like, there's a different way out of that room. This contradicts leads to the possibility that the man may not have been Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in this video. I'll point out. I'll do all the pointing I want. I'm Phoenix Wright. I point everything. I'll point at you, motherfucker. You would want me to point it out. Very well. Proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. I will now play the security tape. Mr. Wright, please show us the contradiction you speak of. I have to point out the problem in the video. This is the first time I ever had to do that. I'm having like little hiccups right now. You have to do it, Mr. Wright. 
It's set up so you can fast forward, rewind, and pause the video. Just take a look right at this book. <laughs> Just take a look and be sure to point out the right thing. Please do not play it too many times. I can't stand to watch the video. I can't stand to watch it either. That fucking creature is unsettling as shit. <laughs> now then, Mr. Wright, please enlighten us. Where's the contradictions that indicate it? Okay, there you go. Look at him raise the bat. The little baton. Scary as fuck. Okay. So we see him open the video. Uh, open the video. What am I saying? You see him open the locker. A glove falls out. Okay. Now Meekins is here. Mean in business. Look at him. I wouldn't fuck with this guy. Would you fuck with that guy? I wouldn't fuck with that guy. He means business. Okay. Cuts his hand. He goes after him. Alright. He goes at him with the knife. Hmm. Okay. Let's rewind. Wow, he shoulder checked the shit out that man. Alright. He goes at him with the knife. What is the contradiction here? Oh, you can play it in slow motion. That's cool. What's really weird is that he said that he punched him in the face, and that's when he got knocked out cold, but he goes at him with a knife. You sure I can't see his face? You sure about that? Alright. Well. Wrong button. So if you were pinned up on the locker over here, how the fuck did you move over here? I'm gonna present this. The thing that's strange about this video would have to be you know this. Hold on a second. <laughs> I need to use my eye drops. Well, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> Before your eyes get too terrible, perhaps you should think this through again. All right, play the video again. Return to cross examination. Hmm. Let me think about this. I'm gonna play it again. Very well. I guess I'm looking for some sort of identifier. It opens the locker, a glove falls out. I 
I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the glove would play into this yet, but. I highly doubt that the glove would play into this at this point in time, but. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Hmm. I see that is strange. Something certainly seems unnatural about that. What could it mean? Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Wright. But you seem to have forgotten the point of this exercise. The point? What are you looking for is one thing and one thing only. Something that indicates the man may not be Detective Goodman. Yeah, so I, yeah, I definitely assumed that. Alright. I'll place him under arrest, sir. Rats. I need to slow down. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So he has his handprint. Something that proves that he can't be the guy. Well... Would it be the light? Because is the light supposed to shine red when, um... When, when it's... If it's the right person, I don't think the light is supposed to be... Well, you can't see the color of the light in the video. But I remember the light being red. Um, shit. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna point out the light, even though I don't think it will do anything, but. Yeah, no, it's not. That's not going to do anything. Huh. I don't seem to be losing any health in this, by the way. So I can just try as many times as I want without any repercussions. I mean, we can't see his face. I can't tell if he's wearing gloves or not. Oh, hey, James. It's been a while. I'm confused as shit on this. Is he wearing gloves? I can't tell if he's wearing gloves. I don't, I don't think he's wearing gloves. You don't think it has to be with gloves? But I could be wrong. I'm not I'm not talking about the What I'm trying to look for here is um is any way to show uh besides his face, is any way to show that it can't be Goodman? And I know there's a glove that falls out the locker. I'm pretty sure that has to do with something later down the road. But they already know that it doesn't show his face. I mean, you know what, actually? This might be a long shot. But, maybe, maybe it's the fact that, that he attacks him, right? Like, I don't, I don't know how to point that out, but... Because if he had his ID card just to show that it's him, he wouldn't have attacked. So, but I don't know. Hmm. Maybe if I get like a better, 
better angle of it. Actually, hold up. Oh, the badger already has, like, handprints on it. Okay. He attacks him. Is it the blood? Maybe it's not the blood. Uh, I'm just gonna... Just gonna do that, right? I guess it's not the fact that he attacks him. What's that substance? On his shoulder, it's uh it's the blood that came from uh the officer's hand when he cuts him. But we already know that it's the officer's blood, so So that really wouldn't help out. Maybe if I just click here, be like, hey, what were you going to do? What were you going to do to the guy? You ask him to show his ID. Is there no way to bring that up? To just be like, hey, if it was the guy, he would have just showed his ID instead of attacking. Or maybe it's the fact that he's looking for something in the locker. I don't know. It's really weird. Unless there's like something here on his coat somewhere. This is our clearest look that we get at the guy. Um, I honestly don't know. See, he attacks him, right? He defends himself, and then he gets the blood from his from his hand on his jacket. But that doesn't. Tell us that it can't be someone else other than Goodman. Actually, you know what? It... I mean, you did get a look at the guy. Do you know what Goodman looks like? Yeah, I don't... Huh. I honestly don't know. I might just have to look it up. Same thing I did fucking yesterday, where, like, the, fir the first thing that they show me, it's like some goofy shit you gotta be, like, very specific about. Like, I'm trying to go through this game without looking anything up. But sometimes, sometimes the game just has a different thought pattern. Let me see. Case 5, uh, what is this? This is the second trial? Day 2 trial. I'm gonna try my best. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna like look up anything too much. Alright, this is... I did that already. Investigation day two, did that. Let me see. Day three, trial former. Okay. Let's see. Press all of Meekin's statements. That is done. You'll, if you look carefully, the number that we used twice... Yeah, we did that. Alright. As you can see, everyone faces shock, annoyed, uh, blue badgers in the way. 
say there is a problem with the videotape. You're about to examine the videotape, tells you the controls about it. All right, before Goodman walks over to the left side, look at Goodman's locker. It is lit up. Present it. I did present that. <laughs> I did present that. Oh, wait, before it's lit. Oh, wait, hold up. I presented it after he walked over to the locker. But I had the same thought process of like, hey, doesn't the light mean something? That like, if the light is on, that means you don't really need... Either it was like the wrong fingerprint or something, or it's already open or something. But I presented it at the wrong time. I presented it when he was at the locker. Not the fact that it's already on. Before he's even there. So I I was on the right pattern, thinking pattern, but I just did it at the wrong time. Okay, I didn't I didn't think they would contribute timing into the matter, but alright, that's cool. The thing that's strange about this video has got to be this. Officer Meekins. Sir? Do you mean me, sir? As I understand it, the locker apparatus works like this. When you grab the handle, a sensor reads your fingerprints if it's a match. The light turns on and the locker is released. The locker? The lock is released. Uh, according to my very limited experience, that's the way I understand it, sir. If so, then something is seriously wrong with this picture. You don't, you don't gotta show me the video again. I, I've seen it. I've seen it too many times already, game. Can I, can I fast forward through this? Nope. Gotta watch it. Just gotta watch it. Just deal with it. Just deal with it and stare at it. When the victim reaches for the handle to open the locker, let's rewind a little earlier. You know. Click, clack, rewind it back. Here, notice the light. What's this? It's already lit. Oh yes sir, it is lit indeed. Precisely my point, your honor. The locker was already open before the victim grabbed the handle. Huh? What? How could that possibly be? Order. What is the meaning of this? It's very simple, your honor. The locker wasn't locked on the day of the crime. But the locker locks are controlled by an electronic system. When a door is shut, a sensor is triggered. And the locker is automatically locked. Oh, I know, it must have broken down. Of course, I'm not an expert in this. That's not likely, Your Honor. The sensor would detect and report any malfunction. Oh well, it just goes to show novices could keep their mouths shut. So then, Mr. Wright, do you have an explanation? Me, Your Honor? Yes. Why wasn't the locker locked? Me, your honor? Oh, well, you see, this isn't exactly my field. What do you think, Miss Scientific Investigator? Huh? Oh, um, maybe something like jam the system sensors? Something jam the sensor? There's something else that seems out of place in this video. Yeah, I thought so too. There's got to be another clue somewhere in this footage. Very well, let's inspect the video once more. The locker wasn't locked. What was the cause of it? What was the cause of it not being locked? cause of the locker not being locked. I don't know, fucking... Could it possibly be the blue badger? I mean... It's moving around. It's running off of something, right? So maybe it's interfering with a signal or something? I don't fucking know. Oh! 
What the hell? No, that that's stupid. <laughs> the badger isn't it. Yeah, no. I, I definitely just realized it. It's like, oh, the fucking glove jammed it up. Her doy. If the glove is just jammed in the door, then it can just, you know, it's still slightly open. Please watch closely. This is the contradiction of the part. Wait, what? Contradict? What? <sighs> Continuation. Contradiction. Continuation of the part I showed you earlier. The badger is super sus. I don't care how many times he tells me he's electrical. I don't believe him. That's it. He's like, nah, bro. I wasn't. I wasn't in the evidence locker. I was in electrical. That's cat. What's this? Something white fell out of the locker. But sir, it's been my experience that things fall out when doors are opened. I often fall out and roll great distances. W excuse me. <laughs> we can't be sure that the item was <laughs> was completely inside the locker to begin with. What do you mean? The sensor triggered the lock when the door is shut. What if something was inserted, say, between the sensors and the door? Inserted. You don't, you don't have to show me the video again. I get it. I get it. You can just freeze frame it. Like a fucking football highlight or some shit. Be like, see, right here, right here, you see? This white thing wasn't inside the locker. It was stuck between the door and the sensor. Oh, I understand now, sir. It's just like my tie. Two out of three times it gets stuck in the door when I get out of my patrol vehicle, sir. Instead of the door closing, but the object would have to be extremely thin to fit in the door. Not only that, it would also have to block electrical currents. It would need to be an insulator. I'm not a fucking scientist, but isn't cloth an insulator of electricity? I mean, the amount of times in, uh, in high school that I see someone go, Hey, look at this fucking light switch. I'm going to stick a quarter in it, but I have my clothes wrapped around my finger. Yeah, that's right. People would actually do that. They'd be like, hey, and then they would just burn paper in the background. And I don't mean, I don't mean smoking. They would do that in the fucking, in the bathroom. Like in class, they would just take like a soldering iron and just start burning paper and just start stomping out the fire and somehow the teacher would never see it. <laughs> yes, an insulator, but at the crime scene, there just might have been something that fits the description. But sir, by insulator, you don't mean. I think I finally got this figured out. Very well. Will the defendants please present the relevant evidence? What was this insulator that was stuck in the door? It was... Look at this. Extremely thin rubber glove. It's also evidence. I found this near the locker. A thin rubber glove. Glove? Did I say glove? Ugh, God, my bad. But we can't be sure that it, that it was in the victim's locker. Are you sure about that? Look at his tag. He said he bought it for $19.95. It was expensive as fuck. It was a tag that says SL9 incident. The video seemed to depict the victim opening the locker. But that isn't the case. The lit lamp and the lit lamp uh can't speak. The lit lamp attests to this. Jesus. On the day of the crime, even I could have opened that locker. If that's not so, Officer Meekins. Sir. It would appear so, sir. Order. Order, I say. So, we were to believe then that the victim, whom this witness stabbed in the evidence room, was not Detective Goodman? Do not be misled, Your Honor. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? The defense may merely destroy. Uh, I can't speak. This. Uh, fuck! Demonstrates the possibility of nothing more. Listen, it's the it's the trip the fan inside the turkey. You know, you eat turkey Thanksgiving Day and it has like trip the fan in it. This chemical makes you sleepy, make you not think good. The victim in the video was indeed Bruce Goodman. The prosecutor will offer one more testimony to prove this. Prosecutor, prosecution. My bad. What? Officer Meekins, please testify about this. Sir, me, sir. 
I'm not sure what you're referring to, sir. Oh, you mean that? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Is this a joke? Very well, begin your testimony. There's one other thing that proves the man was a Detective Goodman, sir. Was a Detective Goodman? Did I just say that? Jesus, fuck. To enter the evidence room, one must need- Alright, well that's contradiction. I have his ID card right here. Bitch, he lost it. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his card. An ID card record, I see. I have the ID card record here, Your Honor. The ID card at 514 is that of the victim. Just before the crime, hmm? Yes, without a doubt, this is the victim's ID. However, one thing does strike me as unusual. Several hundred cases should have been due to transform for, for, for transfer. Fuck. Why are there so few people using this room? This peculiar evidence room is only used for strong, for storing uh, certain special cases. Special cases? Extremely violent cases involving police staff. Just hearing that makes my hair stand on end. Me too. Although it does make much of a, it doesn't make much of a difference. There were only a few cases up for transferal there, and most were cleared up by noon. Right, I see. Now let us move on to the cross-examination. Forget the fucking cross-examination. He couldn't possibly have used it, because he lost his ID. Let's just make sure we say this so I don't have to do that shit over again. Also, hey, you guys want to see something cool? Something that will blow your fucking mind? Something that you never would see coming a mile away? Want to check something out? We've been on PS5 the whole entire time. Oh, look at that. Hey, you didn't know that, did you? Okay. <laughs> I blowed your fucking mind. <laughs> There's one thing that proves the man was Detective Goodman, sir. To enter the evidence room. <laughs> He's like, whoa. What? I was played for a fool. <laughs> to enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. At the time, the crime detective had used his card. Hey, you sure about that? You positive about that? You positive? You sure about that? You sure about that? You positive? Check this out. Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. I'm not good at waiting, sir. I have the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. <laughs> My brain go boom. <laughs> that shit was crazy. He's like, how? How'd you do that? <laughs> that makes sense. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue regarding the victim's ID card. A lost item report. It's only half completed. Yeah, because he didn't know his fucking ID number, so he couldn't have put it there. But it shows that Detective Goodman has lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to, uh, to fill out this report. Let me guess, you believe the something is his ID card. I can't say for sure. You can't say for sure, but I can say for sure. But there's a highly, highly, uh, possibility. High possibility. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Order. So now, what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. The main, of uh, the man? Uh, fuck, what is wrong with me? The man Officer Meekins encounter in the evidence room was not Detective Goodman, but rather the man who stole his ID card. Order! Order, I say! Does the prosecution have a response? That's some good shit. <laughs> That's my response. I have one thing to say to this defense. Hmm? Bravo, Mr. Wright. Bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15pm on the day of the crime, 
The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encounter was not Detective Goodman. There are two there are two grounds to support this. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yeah. What's he up to? I don't like this. That being the case, we must have inevitably arrived at the single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murderer in the evidence room is also a fake. In other words, the security camera does not show uh, the incident of the murder. So, I see where you're going with this, Edgeworth. He's all like, well, there's no murder here. So Meekins is not a murderer, but that still doesn't prove that Lana Sky isn't a murderer either, so you're still fucked, right? <laughs> uh, that, well, I guess that's right. Is something wrong, Mr. Right? Only moments ago, you seemed content to be pointing your finger around. This isn't going to end well. For you. Well, well. It seems you finally realized. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> exactly what you've gone through such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for Explaining? <laughs> The explaining for me. The victim in this video is a fake, which means the murder did not take place at the police department at 5.15 on the day of the crime. So... So the real crime could only take place in one location, the underground parking lot. At the prosecutor's office, the murder being Miss Lana Skye, the defendant. Yeah, I knew you were going to go there. I knew it. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Observed a trustworthy witness who fucked up her testimony multiple times and lied about everything. Like, trustworthy indeed. And who's proven to have a grudge against, prosecu against the prosecutors. It is trustworthy indeed. Wow, Edgeworth, you just, you're out doing yourself, buddy. Observe the moment the defense used the murder weapon. Ah, shit. I knew that testimony was too shabby. It was all a trap. Where's Admiral Akbar when I need him? It's a trap, right? The activity, the activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who exactly was the victim, Officer Miss, uh, Meekins' encounter? And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Just so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else Lana... What do I do? How am I supposed to get myself out of this mess? Wait and see what happens. Is this ever a good option? This has gotten me nowhere this whole entire game. I object. One moment, Your Honor. What now, Mr. Wright? Don't tell me you're objecting. Your objection to wait what don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven god why did i have a hard time reading that of course not but i almost walked right into the prosecution's trap and admiral akbar stopped me he's like it's a trap <laughs> what are you talking about this cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only the security video did not show the actual murder why, why are you still showing me the video you, you said what you had to, right? You didn't... You didn't uh. Is no one still worried about the fact that we don't know what the hell, where the guy went? He just disappeared up in smoke. However, I can't say that it's unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Specifically, uh, specifically large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. The, def the defense demands further examination into the truth of the matter. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. This just might be my chance. T 
time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Mr. Wright, you don't mean. That's right. We're calling in the G.I. Joes. Get in here, boys. The defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, to whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear the person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have testify. What is his or her name? It's the only other dude there. Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? I can't let Edgeworth know everything just yet. He's in charge of evidence room. I feel he should hear what I feel we should hear what he has to say. The prosecution agrees to the to the defendant's request. Since we've since we was uh, fuck since he was responsible for guarding the room, we should hear his testimony. Fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witness is sub, sub, subnated? What the fuck? I don't even know that word. I'm not gonna lie. Would the prosecution please prepare the witness during this time? Yes, sir. How would you like him? Salt and pepper? Add some ketchup? Court is now in recess. Why do you look so mad at me, Lana? Like I did something wrong. I'm saving your ass here. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? Of course not. You know what? It would be even better if you didn't go around and tell everybody you were guilty. Huh? What do you mean? You call for Jake Marshall? It seems you figured everything out. Huh? I haven't figured shit out. What do you know that I don't know? You're the one who knows everything. Emma. You always know everything. Why don't you just tell us? Mr. Wright is trying his hardest to protect you. I... I don't recall asking for his protection. I don't recall asking for that fucking attitude. That's why I don't recall asking. <laughs> How can you be so cold? Don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Yeah, I don't know that word. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I, is that a word? Is that a typo? Did they do a typo? I'm pretty sure there was a typo in this game earlier. It means to be summoned to court. I mean, I, I get that through context clues, but I mean, I don't know how to say the word. I've never seen it before. <laughs> I feel like that's a trap. Are you trapping me right now? <laughs> Subpoena? Just Google it? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm not... Yeah, I'm gonna stop in the middle of the playthrough to Google the word. <laughs> Maybe I should do that for every word. <laughs> hope, I'm not in hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Oh, <laughs> guess I am. I'll come back later then. <laughs> He's so sad! He's like, I have no friends. <laughs> Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Oh, man. You got a lot of nerves, pal, making a detective run around while on duty. And top it all, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Sorry, detective. You better be, pal. Hey. 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 Hey! I didn't see you there, Chief Prosecutor Sky. That's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh, you mean this gun? Yeah, here. You can kill the judge with it. I mean this, right? Oh my god. <laughs> my apologies, detective, due to my present, cir uh, present circumstances. I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? Listen, if you are guilty, don't be putting my name on shit. Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who uh, thought it was you who asked. Could I bother you? Oh, fuck. Could I bother you to bring me to the SL9 incident files? Wait. Could I bother you to bring me to the? Oh, okay. Also, I love how I just add words and sentences when they're not there. I need them by noon. Talk about crazy. The SL9 incident. But Lana, that's... I thought Mr. Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well if... You might do well to read them. I can't believe you. The chief prosecutor 
We're, we're a witness in this case. Miss Guy was a witness? Okay. Files for Joe Drake killings solved two years ago. Take it from me. You don't want anything to do with serial murders. Oh, wait. Now that I brought, now I brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? Emma, but, but why? Why is your name here? What? My name's in there? I don't know, unless... JK. No, it couldn't be. Lana, it says all nine incidents. Is that... Best classification number the police filed it under. What are the death of your parents or something? The rest of the world knew it as Joe Drake killer killings. The Joe Drake. No, no, Lana. That's over with. No. Emma, wait. She ran away. Hey, you know what? I just remember I gotta be somewhere, so I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Jake Marshall, Angel Star, Diamond Gant, Miles Edgeworth. Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't just be a coincidence. Knowing you, you just might be able to figure it out. Time to get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. Hey, Lana, before you leave, do me a favor. Stop telling people you're guilty. Yeah, that'll be great. That'll be great. It'll help me out a lot. Thank you. We did it. We survived another trial. Just like, just like the last trial I did, you know, the last, the last trial where it's like the first thing that happens is like, I got to look it up because it's goofy as shit. And then after that, it's just sailing through. Wait, I didn't, I didn't even get a chance to read the files. The court would not, the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of the of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Are you drinking in court? Isn't that an offense? Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Uh, I'm just a man, same as you, wandering the trails of civilization. Trails? Trials? Tra trails? Trials? Whatever. Occasionally, helping the elderly crossing intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Howling wind? I never heard Edgeworth <laughs> described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Is that correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what's confusing me. He said he's in charge of it, but then Meekins earlier said that he was in charge of it for the day. A, Despera a Desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sands, and no paper can sum it up. Maybe at best we get on with it. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In plain old English, I'm not hip with the times, you kids using this lingo. My job was keep a wary eye on the bone or orchard. They say I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time. You went to the bar in the middle of your shift? Wow, that is... Wow, gutsy. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. God damn. God damn. The tongue is sharp on that one. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. 
Yes, well, what about the fingerprint active locks on the, on the, I can't speak. <laughs> on the fingerprint, god damn it. Yes. Well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Thank you, fucking brain. Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines, or with following orders. Everyone's got their weaknesses. Now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. This one seems like trouble compared to everyone else. At least he's saying it straight. Okay, Mr. Wright. He's all yours. Alright. Good job, keep a wary eye. So, it's supposed to make round three times a day, but I ain't my style. Besides so room tech by two security systems. If I remember right. How far away were you? What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even Angel's steak lunches can beat that parlor's Van Gle Oh god, I can't even- God damn it, don't even, don't even. I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt it. Do you mean to tell us you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Not all this where I was eat tacos, partner. I don't even like tacos. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. No, not really. I'm not the one who died. <laughs> this is usually where Edgeworth says. Did you not want to raise this year? I'm just an innocent traveling man. Out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. Okay. Well, first of all, let's do what we always do. Save before. Right. My job is to keep a wary eye. I'm blowing out tree. So I was supposed to make around three times a day, but that ain't my style. Okay. Can I look at this real quick? Incidents. The perpetrator, John Drake, crime serial murder, sentence was death. The victims, Edward Jones, Heath Kirby, Jeb Bates. Jason Knights, Rachel Moss, Neil Marshall. Excuse me? Is that Jake's brother or something? There's blood that proves he was at the locker area. Yeah. Is that even in my evidence? I think it is. I just want to read this first. Head prosecutor, the witness, Lana Sky, and Emma. Wait a minute, what? Okay, so they witnessed murder? Investigators, Jake, and that's why Jake was so adamant on it. Okay. Either it was his father that was killed or like a brother or something. Yeah. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called to testify like this? After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet, you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. Because you're a lying piece of shit. You said you was an electrical, but you wasn't. <laughs> That's cat. He left a very large trial, trail, trial, trail behind. I hate English. I hate the English language. Words sound the same. They look the same. Three different words spelled the same, spelled differently. Sound the same. Fuck. Worst language ever. Oh, to be exact, a handprint. Hmm. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm caretaker of the crib. He vented to get food and come back. He vented to get food and come back. Oh, uh, that's a good one. Not gonna lie, that that's a good one. He said, bro, I didn't see you use the vent, but from the corner of my eyes, I saw the little hatch go up. And then you came back and suddenly there's spaghetti sauce everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck? I pay my respects. That makes my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in, the, would be in there. 
but covered in blood? That's kind of suspicious. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your blood-stained fingerprints were at the scene of the crime. The blood was wiped away, however. A luminal test clear, uh, clearing, uh, fuck, cleary, cleary, what? A luminal test clear, oh, clear, fuck, clearly. <laughs> I forgot how to say the word clearly. God damn it. Well, Officer Marshall, it seems to me they ain't a person in this room with head on his shoulders. It's not blood spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I see. I wish. Wait, it's not blood spaghetti all over his hands? What is he, an animal? Just, just scarfing it down? I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About the blood stained fingerprints? Yeah, that's my kink. I covered myself in blood and I jack off all over evidence. Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. It was actually Kool Aid. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The middle. But we have a match for your fingerprints, dude. At the at the same. Eh. The vent's too small to put a bowl through, so he just grabbed it. <laughs> just grabbed a handful of spaghetti. That's an animal move right there. The, uh, the murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was. Okay. The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or did you know that the murderer was wearing gloves? See? I had nothing to do with it. I call Cap. The witness explanation appears valid. Although, there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubts, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. And that's my chance to prove it. Is anyone worried that this man has a knife in the courtroom? I just want to point that out. <laughs> He's just sitting there playing with a knife in the courtroom. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Like I said, only natural fingerprints being out of this room. One just happened to be at the same place. Uh -huh. I might have touched the locker. My chance. Blood, the blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? How do you know the murderer was wearing gloves if he wasn't there? That's that's suspicious fuck. But let me let me see this real quick. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to link it to him. Cover fingerprints from handprints from. I mean, it lines up perfectly. Nose locker, side text of prints. I mean, I can use this. I'm Like, what I'm trying to see is, is he trying to say like, 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 A, that's not my fingerprint, or is he just saying it is my fingerprint, but there's just, you know, there's the killer smeared blood on it as well. I mean, fingerprinting set, because we can just ma we can just match them up right now if you want, right? Let me just press that real quick. How do you know that? I may be a learner, but I still do my job. I keep up with the reports. There was a blood stain at the scene, thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. That's right. It was found in Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on the handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm. So, that would mean the murderer was wearing gloves. That's the only logical conclusion. Can't let him swerve his way out of this one. Gotta find something. I'm decisive. I mean, I can just use the, just use the, you know, handprint kit right now. Oh, never mind. just spray his fucking hands. 
I'm just saving in case it doesn't work, because I fucking hate it when they make me try and do all the shit all over again. Yeah, just you spray it on just spray the thing on his hand so your blood appears. Huh? Blood stain and fingerprint are completely unrelated. You sure about that? Just you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind if I just sprayed this shit all over your hands? Just... Oh, really? 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 I can't just... Come on, man. Murder touched the locker where my fingerprints was by chance. You sure? You sure I can't just spray it all over your fucking hands right now? How is that not a contradiction? Right? One of them just happened to be in the same place as a bloodstained handprint. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm just doing like I just have to check. Am I doing it on the wrong statement? So I just It's not gonna let you spray him? Why not? I can't spray the man, but he can have a knife in court? It's bullshit. I mean, we can solve it, solve it real quick, right? Just, just spray it. Which one did I fucking... <laughs> which one did I, which one did I save over? Oh, wait, it says right here, Kondoi. Alright. Fine. If it's not gonna let me spray him, is it gonna let me fingerprint him? Or is that, or is that, you know, not worth the try either? No? Alright, well, fuck. Okay. So let me review what I have. Right? Oh, wait a minute. What about the fucking... What about the, you know, the ID card? He was there. Right? He was there right before the... Murder touch locker or whatever by chance. I mean, I mean, also, we have the videotape that shows that he didn't touch it, so. Would the videotape not work? Even though it clearly shows that he didn't touch the locker? Like, <laughs> is it worth the shot? I mean, we just play the videotape at the time of the murder. And you can clearly see that he didn't touch it. Probably wrong. Yeah. Probably wrong. Well, it just happened to be in the same place. That's bullshit, man. That's, bu that's bullshit that I can't just play the tape and be like, as you can clearly see, the man didn't touch the locker. There's no blood there. Then I, then I guess it might be this, right? What's the... Oh wait, he didn't even go in there at all. Oh shit. Well, we don't know his fucking card number. Hmm. 420? Ha, <laughs> 420. Light it up. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I knew that wouldn't work, but it was worth a try. So we have to prove that it is his fingerprint, but we can't. We have to prove that the blood in his fingerprint is connected, but we can't just spray his hand where it would reveal that there's blood all over his hands, but okay. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Left in the evidence room, the print had been wiped. Piece of jar back from fragments. Hmm. I mean, is it his locker? We, uh, one of them just happened to be in the same place. Uh, is it your locker? I don't know whose locker it is. Is it his locker that it was on? 
<laughs> like, what the fuck? All right, well, let me just start pressing, right? Can't hurt the press. That's because, how'd you put it, pay your respects once a month? Yep, that's right. That locker happened to be mine, so it is yours. Okay. So I was on the right path with that. What do you mean? I mean what I said. That locker I used when I was a detective, the locker I still use. All that in there now is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over the locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never removed from the locker programming. He must have been using the fingerprint lock all this time without ever knowing it. Okay. Well that's new. That's new. Found on bloody handprint on Marshall's own locker. The print had been away. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? The seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. I swear to God, if you play that video and fucking say that, hey, you can see that he does touch the... There's no blood on the thing, right? Security tape? So long as my tra trail isn't there, you can't see it otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully what you're going with this cross what you're doing with this cross examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony. Too bad it wasn't me in the video, right? Too bad it wasn't. Too bad it wasn't. All right. Well, I'm gonna, give me one second, I'm gonna be right back. Well, I say one second, I'm not gonna lie, probably about like five minutes, because honestly, how long have I been doing this for? I've been doing this for about three hours, I gotta use the bathroom, you know, Thanksgiving day and all. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 